Hello, my amazing first grade artists. This week, friends, I hope you are ready to go do some traveling as we set off for outer space. We are going to be creating some science-inspired art by building our own rockets and helping travel the stars. So let's go take a look at what art materials we need to create what's called mixed media art. That's when you use many different art supplies to help create one piece of art. In our art folder today, friends, we only need one white piece of paper. This is where we're going to draw our rocket and our planets. We're going to save our black paper for our stars in space for next week. So, using my pencil first, it's time to draw a rocket ship together. I like to think about the body of the rocket ship first. So, I'll start making a line that kind of curves and points up, and then curves and points down. Almost like I'm starting a capital letter A, only I won't add the line in the middle. Instead, my line is going to go at the bottom. I like to curve my line a little bit, but you can have a straight line as well. So there is the body of my rocket today. Again, it's okay if your rocket looks different than mine, friends. Next, I'll go ahead and I'll add maybe a curve or two below the nose of the rocket. If you have a really pointed nose, your rocket might go fast. If the nose of your rocket is a little bit more round, it might go a little slower. And that's okay, friends. I also added some dots for details to maybe make it look like there are rivets helping hold the different pieces of my rocket together. Next, I'll need a window for my astronauts to be able to see out. I enjoy using a circle for my window. But of course, if you would like to use a different shape, such as a square or even a heart or a star shape, please pick whatever shape you would like for your window today. Next, we need to be able to help our astronauts steer the ship. Right now in space, it would just be spinning round and round. So we need to give it some fins or some wings to help it change directions. I like to think about a shark swimming in the water and how its fins will move to help it turn different ways. One shape that I could use for my fins would be a triangle. But again, there are many other shapes I could use as well. Or I could even kind of round my triangle out to make a different fin. So please pick one of these shapes or a different shape to use on your rocket. If I wanted to, I could even add maybe some lines or some shapes or design onto my fins if I want. And we will add more details later as well, friends, if you want to your rocket ship. But you don't have to. Again, each rocket ship should look unique and different, just like you. Next, we need to help our rocket blast off into space. So at the bottom, we're going to add a throttle. A throttle is where the fire will come out. So I'll add two straight lines, and I like to make, again, a little bit of a curve at the bottom for my throttle. Once again, I could add more details, like some lines on there, if I want to, but I don't have to. And last, I might want to add fire, but here is a funny thing, friends. In space, because there's no oxygen, oxygen is part of the air that we breathe. When you breathe in right now, friends, and breathe out, some of what you are breathing is oxygen, and fire also needs oxygen to breathe, but there is no oxygen in space. So when a rocket is coming up off the Earth, we will see fire, but out in outer space, you wouldn't. So you have to decide if you would like to add some fire coming out. You can, or you could also leave it how it is. The very last thing I'm going to add to my rocket ship for sure 
is a name. Every great rocket ship or space shuttle always has a name on it, my friends. Now, sometimes engineers or inventors might name things after themselves, in which case I could put my own name on my rocket ship, or I could pick a different name that I like. For instance, on my other example, I put Rainbow. So you have to decide what type of name you would like for your spaceship today. I think I will name my spaceship Artist, and I can even add a number behind it as well. I think today mine will be Artist 2. Today I didn't write the number 2 as a regular number 2. I used what's called a Roman numeral. Some of my friends, if you enjoy watching the Super Bowl, might recognize that. Some other Roman numerals, for instance, here's number 1, here's number 5, and here's the number 10. I'll write them next to it so you can see that. Again, you don't have to write these things, my friends. However, if you would like to use a Roman numeral such as 1, 5, 10, or even 2 at the end of your rocket's name, you could. Or again, I could just simply write the number 2 how I'm used to as well. Once I'm happy with how my rocket ship looks, again, I could add more details, like maybe I'll add another belt going across here with some more rivets. Maybe I could even add a frame around my window if I wanted to. However, I want to finish out my rocket. When I'm done, I'll put my pencil down. And the next thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and trace up my lines with either a black marker or a black crayon. Now for the sake of time, friends, I'm gonna go ahead and speed this step up a little bit so you don't have to watch me. But if you would like to pause the video here and catch up, please do. So here's my rocket all traced up, and I will have to say sorry, my friends. I noticed I had a small spelling error on my name for my rocket, but luckily I fixed that now when I was tracing. Again, if you're not sure about how to spell something, my friends, it's okay to spell things incorrectly, or also maybe ask an adult in your learning environment to help you spell something as well if you'd like. Now comes the fun part about today, my friends. Time to color my rocket ship in. And again, I can use all sorts of different colors, however you would like to color yours in, using whatever colors you would like as well. Also, friends, if you want to add some planets on your paper to cut out for next to our class, try adding a couple circles, maybe medium or small sized, onto your paper next to your rocket ship as well if you'd like. That way I can color those in as well and cut them out next time and add them to my black paper. I'm going to go ahead and quickly color in my rocket ship. Again, please use the colors that you would like on your ship, friends. Here's how my finished rocket and my planets turned out. And again, it's okay if I colored outside my lines a little bit because I can cut these out next time for art class. So here's a closer look. And again, I picked the colors that I wanted and I colored my rocket and my planets the way that I like. I'm gonna go ahead now and I'm gonna put my rocket ship back into my art folder if I attended the live art class. Remember friends, if you are doing this lesson with this video, please take a picture of your started art project on Seesaw before you put it away in your folder. Next week, we'll go ahead and get out our scissors and glue. We'll even make sure that we have something white like a white crayon to add some stars and space to our black paper friends. For today, though, I will go ahead and say my BYE, and as always, have fun creating, my friends.